a drug smuggler's brother is murdered in Bangkok. His domineering mother insists he hunt down the killer. If the tables were turned, your brother would have found your killer and brought me his head on a platter. But in his quest for revenge, he finds his own life in danger in Only God Forgives. Hi, I'm Sasha. I'm Kevin. And I'm Aaron. And today we're here to talk about the newest film from director Nicholas Winning Refn, Only God Forgives. We've all just seen it. Kevin, talk to me. I'm going to tell you what it's about. You are? Right. You can tell I'm me? I'm going to try. Guy kills somebody. The brother of the guy's there and doesn't say a lot. And then the mom comes and says, get revenge on your brother's death, and that's it. Here's the biggest problem with the movie right off the bat. It's the script. We don't really know what's going on. We don't know what's real and what's not. Yes, our main character is Julian, played by Ryan Gosling. And when his brother is killed, his mom comes to Thailand and basically says, you got to get revenge on the people who killed your brother. And then from then on, it just kind of meanders. There's a lot to be said that's good in this film. I mean, the cinematography and the music, but I didn't care about one person in this film. Well, and supposedly there was a script, and even the script was really bad from people that I know who've read it, but there's no actual dialogue. It's just descriptions of scenes, sh scenes that, like you said, are beautifully shot. Mm -hmm. The whole thing to yeah. me felt like a really messed up peyote trip, acid dream, fever dream. And he wants to share it with everybody, yeah. and we're like, really? You know what? I'm an adult. <laughs> Parts of it are super cool. I mean, you've got a lot of scenes that we're not sure if they're happening or not, if they're real. We do have one small little through line throughout the movie, Crystal, who oh. is Julie Julian's mother pretty much provides us with all of the plot that we'll ever get in the movie. And if you learn anything about anybody, yeah. it's from her. So thank God that he actually did something. But yeah, I mean, what was he doing? I just don't understand like how you can make a movie with such a flimsy script. I mean, Drive was flimsy, but at least there was just something so fascinating about everything that had to oh, do yeah, with the production. Absolutely. And if there's any saving grace to this movie, I think that's what it is. It's all the production values. It's the experience of watching this film. Here's the thing, Kristen Scott Thomas is fantastic. Yes. She's hilarious, she's interesting. She's I really I film. really liked her. They should have made her the central character, and actually it should have been a movie about her and how she manipulated her kids. It should have been something interesting. What I wanted was right. Jackie Weaver in, in Animal right. Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I kept waiting for her to do. What she needed was a vocal coach to make that American accent actually believable, because that was a mess. That was but a spotty, she still spotty was kind of hilarious and funny and interesting. But maybe it's because nobody else talked and she's the only one who talked that I was finally like, thank God there's thank goodness. something going on. I yeah. liked her. I think that, it, like I said before, if there's a saving grace of this film, it's her. She has poise. She has mystery. She's funny. She's offbeat. I, I, I think it's a great performance all around. I apologize for my behavior. It's just that I'm a, a little upset. I have lost my first son. The actor who plays our villain, Chang, he says maybe three or four lines in the entire words. film. Because he sings plenty. <laughs> he says words. I he thought was he was note. totally blank and one That's note. what he's supposed to be. He he's was like crazy. Michael Myers, but Ty. There was nobody in this movie where I felt like there was believability. I thought they all looked like deer caught in the headlights. <laughs> I don't agree with that. I think that he knew what he was doing. I mean, Refn certainly had a vision of how he wanted this character of Julian to be, and I think that with what he's given, Ryan Gosling does a great job. I believe that he is this person. I just had no way of connecting with him whatsoever because of the way he was written. I feel like he's been the same person for the past three movies. Films can't be judged based solely on whether or not their script works. It's it's a visual medium. Mm -hmm. You've got other things at play. And this is a very visual movie. The cinematography is unbelievable. Oh, These yeah. neon colors sure. are great. It's it's only a huge disappointment because of a debilitating lack of story. It's not because the production was not strong. The production is great, but you can't make a movie. I mean, that's photography. Right. What he did was film. Terrence Malick makes movies that have no through lines and at I all. And I hate yes, Terrence do. Malick. But I disagree because I think there are stories there. And there have been plenty of films that just show beautiful nature of footage there that are good are. films. And because they're on because, National Geographic. And they also have a through line. Like, at least you watch the zebra, and then you see the lion, and the lion attacks <laughs> the zebra, and you get some finality. You cannot make a movie that is all style over substance, and that's what this is. <laughs> but what she's saying is she's... We're talking about all these beautiful images that mean nothing. 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 
So I'm looking at it going, okay, but give me something. It was his way of saying, I don't have to be successful. I don't need you to understand or get my movie because I'm so artistic that I'm gonna make something that only I can appreciate. I think that's what he did. This film is a real letdown, and perhaps it was because expectations were so high based on Drive. Regardless, it's worth a watch at home, so I say stream it. Refn should take a clue from his title, because I certainly don't. Skip it. Only God Forgives is a waste of the talents of every single person involved. It was a waste of my time. It is relentlessly violent and oppressively artsy. Skip it. Well, our votes add up to half a ticket, so that is a skip it for Only God Forgives. Thank God. I can forgive, but I will never forget. That's it. That's all I can say.